Welcome, this is Chris Pierce, and you are listening to the Self Maintenance of the Brain and Body Podcast. Every week I share with you in less than three to five minutes a simple and easy to implement self-care idea and challenge you to create a positive change in your life. All tips I share are informed by evidence-based research in the field of sleep medicine, behavioral health, neuroscience, pain management, and nutrition. This is episode seven, and I'm going to talk about nutrition and the brain and how eating a healthy diet is critical in maintaining cognitive and mental health. I want to explain why consuming an unhealthy diet affects brain functioning. When we consume inflammatory foods such as refined carbohydrates, breads, pastries, fried food, sugary drinks, processed foods, and most all that fast food out there, the immune system reacts to fight these substances, resulting in cellular inflammation throughout the entire body. Because of the brain-to-gut connection, poor nutrition can rapidly influence how the brain operates. But did you know that we have a brain in our stomach? It's called the enteric nervous system. The enteric nervous system, it's a web of sensory and mortar neurons embedded in the wall of the gastrointestinal system. And in fact, there are more neurons residing in the human gut than in the entire nervous system. So when you feed your gut garbage, your brain has to operate on that trash. A key player in the brain to gut connection is the vagus nerve, which has trillions of interconnections throughout the entire body. When we choose to eat unhealthy food, the vagus nerve rapidly informs the brain on how to respond. There's a back and forth communication between the brain and the gut along the vagus nerve. That's why stress, dizziness, anxiety, depression, and other negative experiences within the brain can affect digestion, and in turn, poor food digesting in our stomach can quickly impact the brain. So did you know that the brain only weighs three pounds, yet that small three pounds of the entire body consumes 20% of the energy produced through the foods we eat? Cognitive function is dependent on a steady supply of energy consumed from healthy food. Eating a healthy diet not only gives you the energy you need, but allows your brain to function correctly, make effective decisions, and have the cognitive strength to counter all the mental difficulties throughout the day, such as daily stress, anxiety, depression. So when we do not eat healthy and consume inflammatory foods, we're not only depriving the brain of the nutrients needed, but we add more strain to the brain as these foods create additional inflammation. In a 2014 study published in the Journal of Brain Behavior and Immunity, Researchers examined 12,000 participants whose diet consisted of inflammatory food. And this study found a significant increase in the development of anxiety, depression, and difficulties regulating stress in those whose diet consisted of inflammatory food. So if you're dealing with anxiety, depression, suicidal ideations, or PTSD, or difficulties managing stress, one of your approaches to improving brain health and reducing the symptoms is reducing inflammatory food from your diet. It becomes a constant cycle of inflammation when we're dealing with stress and anxiety and mental difficulties and consuming inflammatory food. Because when we're under stress and anxiety and dealing with these difficulties, there's a release of cortisol and the release of these stress hormones causes additional inflammation throughout the body. And then when we consume inflammatory food, we are adding even more inflammation to the body. Nutrition is foundational to improving all aspects of mental wellness. Poor nutrition results in poor sleep, increased pain, and decreased cognitive functioning. Inflammatory foods lack the minerals and amino acids needed by the brain to produce things such as serotonin, norepinephrine, and dopamine, which are crucial in helping you regulate the symptoms from anxiety, depression, and other mental difficulties. My challenge for you this week is to improve your diet, reduce the foods causing inflammation, and add to your diet brain fuel, foods that help boost the brain's ability to do its job. What are some of these brain foods? I'll close this episode with giving you a list of some foods that are really good for increasing your brain power. These come from a 2015 article published in the journal Science of Medicine. They recommend that these brain power foods are fatty fish, such as salmon, tuna, sardines. They recommend coffee, bananas, dark chocolate, a whole variety of berries like mulberries, strawberries, blueberries, blackberries, broccoli, leafy greens, and a whole variety of nuts and cashews, almonds, oranges, eggs, green tea, whole grains such as oatmeal, barley, and rice, and green pasta. These are all excellent brain power foods. Also adding to this, you need to ensure you are staying hydrated. You need to ensure you're consuming half an ounce to an ounce of water per body weight. Folks, this concludes this episode. Please tune in every Monday for a new self-care tip. If you enjoyed this episode, do me a favor and share it with your family and friends. You can learn more about this topic on my website at utah23.org. Also, please check out my self-care book titled Self-Health Andragogy, Self-Directed Learning Approach to Mental and Physical Self-Care. It's available on Kindle, print copy, audiobook, and iTunes. 
And you can find links to my website and to my new book in the show notes of this podcast.